What is going on everybody? It's me Uriel here and today what I have here is a 2011 MacBook Pro 15 inch. Now what makes this interesting is that I got this for 25 bucks. Top of that, the graphics card is perfectly working and kicking ass. That is really exciting. 2011 15 inch MacBooks have a very infamous defect and that is their graphics. The graphics on this is a Radeon HD 6490M. Now this is the base model regardless whether you choose the lowest end or the highest end have very very high failure rates and it got so bad to the point where there was actually a lawsuit on top of the recalls this and that I might believe this is a swap logic board and that's probably why this is still working now if you take it to the recall what Apple would do was basically just swap it out for a new logic board but did not do any updates to the logic board so meaning you're basically stuck with the same problem years down the line. If you really work your computer and if you really run a lot of intensive apps, you'll end up with the same problem two years down the line. That was a band-aid fix and that really did not solve anything at all with the 2011 model years. Now, luckily enough, the next year, 2012, Apple switched to Nvidia again and this time they got it right for the 2012 model year and built one of the most reliable MacBooks you can get with a GT 650M. Right now they're also holding the value pretty well because everybody knows that the unibody is the last MacBook you can upgrade the RAM, the hard drive to an SSD, so all of the good stuff you can still use it even today. And even this one specifically, the 2011s, they are perfectly capable. This is running High Sierra which is really not the latest and greatest but this MacBook specifically has 8 gigs of RAM, it has a 250 gigabyte SSD. I believe this is a Samsung Evo. Now story time with this MacBook. My first ever MacBook I ever bought was a MacBook from 2011 as well and it was also a 15 inch. And you know where I'm getting into this. <laughs> I got that back in 2018 when I was in high school, sophomore year. I needed a computer for school. The only options were a Chromebook or a cheap Windows computer. And at the time, I did not want that <laughs> because I wanted to try something different. I've always heard from my friends that Macs are one of the best for school and this and that. I took the bullet, decided to purchase one, and what do you know? I got one with a failing graphics card. The guy basically told me that it would happen once in a while, but no. <laughs> it was like every time we restarted. It was getting worse and worse and worse. I got it for 250 bucks at that time. I think that was still a steal at the time. These were going for around 300 even with a failing graphics card. So what it did was do a lot of research trying to disable the graphics card just to be able to use the HD 3000 graphics. Like I think I spent about a week of just trying to do research on how to replace it or solve the problem. Finally I was able to by getting a soldering kit and popping out a capacitor or something that disables the graphics completely. So yeah I, I went through a lot and what made it worse was the fact that High Sierra introduced the new APFS system. I believe a lot of the programming for the graphics was just like completely different from Sierra, Mac OS Sierra. So with High Sierra I could not change the brightness at all. I can't put it to sleep so when, whenever I close the lid it would just shut down completely. So I had all these quirky problems. At the time in school, it was just very inconvenient because what I would have to do was shut it down and then turn it on, shut it down, turn it on. On top of that, I can't really plug into a display. So I stuck with that for like a year and a half. Anyway, going back into this one, this is really honestly usable. The i7 on this, which was Sandy Bridge, I believe, is still plenty powerful even today. Sure, there's hiccups here and there, and that's because it's mostly graphics limitations, not really the CPU. You know, if you look up a YouTube video, it would play with ease. Actually, there's already a uh, trailer here. Why don't we open that? Let's go ahead and put this to 1080p. 1080p, it should load with ease. Fans are going up a little bit. CPU or GPU is only running at 37 degrees Celsius, so it's running cool. I guess it's just loud for some reason today. I'm gonna put it a full screen too. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like in full screen. This display is really gorgeous, by the way. This is the um, matte display with the upgraded resolution, which was an option at the time before the Retina. Yeah, that looks really good. This display looks really good even today. It's like not too sharp. Not too soft, not too low resolution, just just enough. Playing a 1080p looks really good on it. Okay, let's go ahead and try like a very basic website, like every Mac right here. All right. Wow, that's instantaneous right there. That's not even a hiccup. And you can scroll very soft and smooth. I love this trackpad. This is one of the best trackpads even today. That's a big difference from the last couple of videos I made <laughs> with the previous MacBooks. Let's go ahead and check out MacBook Pro here. 
And let's go ahead and scroll to an early 2011. Here we go. Yep, here it is. This is the MacBook. And if you go to Best Buy or something like that, it shouldn't be a problem as well. Uh, block that. Yeah, look at that. Just loads pretty quick. Cyber Power PC. Uh, that's actually not a bad deal. Let's go to the Apple website. Let's see, I'm curious if they're going to tell us that our website's outdated. Look at that. You can finally buy an iPhone 15 Pro on your 2011 MacBook Pro. Buy for 1400 bucks. 1400 bucks for a freaking iPhone. Back in the day when this was new, a new iPhone would be about like 600 bucks. I don't really have any more videos to tell you guys with this because this MacBook is plenty fast. You open contacts, it's just instantaneous. Honestly, all you have to really do with this MacBook is just upgrade the RAM from four gigs to eight or even 16. And yes, you can go up to 16 with this MacBook. Swap out the hard drive to an SSD and it will be plenty quick. If you open FaceTime, it's in instantaneous. I think this is the time where they finally upgraded the camera to a 720p. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.